sad story that popped up on the BBC. This woman went to a boot camp or wanted to go to a boot camp and the trainer told her she was too fat to train at the boot camp that he was kind of starting at that, um, or the boot camp that she was trying to inquire about, which is really unfair. And again, something I don't really understand in that regard, but hey, BBC News article here. Boot camp woman told she was too fat for classes. Um, a woman told she was too big to join a personal trainer boot camp has been inundated with messages of support. Uh, Gary Randall, who calls himself Buff Master, told uh, Lisa Parrot 33 she was way too heavy <laughs> and he would only help her if she lost five pounds first. Five stone for her, which is a lot of weight, right? Five stone is no joke. Fucking hell. Well, to be honest, if you're quite big, losing five stone is... Um, uh, what's it? You, you you losing five stone when you're big to begin with isn't maybe as hard as you probably think it is. It's, it's when you get really fitness gets really difficult to lose five stone. But still, it's no joke, man. It's not like a well, especially if you haven't been used to losing that kind of weight in general. What's five stone in in kilograms? Thirty kilograms. That's a lot of weight, man. Shit. Mama mia. What's that in pounds? Sorry, seventy pounds. He wants to lose before he gets to her. Like that's insane. Wow, okay, cool. Uh, Miss Parrot from Lancashire, who weighs 25 stones, said she was so upset that she started crying and collapsed. <sighs> That's the thing as well, like people that just mean for, for the sake of being mean, right? Why not just be nice, right? That's just out of order, isn't it? Like, there's no need to be that much of a dick to this lady, like, really. She's really trying to best to kind of change her life, and this is how you want to be. Screenshot of a message uploaded on Facebook have attracted more than a 1,000 500 comments including offers of help for personal trainers since they were spotted posted on Sunday. Miss Parrot and a friend launched a group chat with Mr. Randall to inquire about the services. A reply from Miss Parrot is account is here. He said, Hi Lisa, I hope you're well. I've seen your pictures and I'm sorry to say I won't be able to help you. This is what he's saying, right? I want me to help you at the boot camp. You're way too heavy now. So I hope you get where you want to be. Fat loss journey in a snap gym. The very best of luck, Buffmaster. Can I ask why that is? So obviously I know you you help people who to lose weight, which is what I'm doing. Yes, I do, but you've got you've gone too far. Sorry. So focus on the gym for at least six months. Then let's see where you're at. So again, this is this is probably the scam he's running with this sort of like um with this sort of like boot camp stuff. You get people in there that are already quite fit, so that when they post their pictures of them ripped on Facebook and Instagram, it looks like you're making these people go from fat to fit when really you're not, right? So you get them to send you a picture before they started and when they're at the boot camp, and it makes it look like you took them from that really chubby person to this super ripped, that kind of like you know, movie star person. It's not actually the truth. I see it, I see the scam. Clever, clever scam. Um and, he, and she's asked her, can I ask your reasoning? He says, yes, you're just too big for my boot camp. That's all. If you lose about five stone of fat, I'll be able to help you achieve your goals. And she's like, like, I mean, why am I too big for boot camp? I'm just asking as it will help me to know I'm not picking. Um, just helps me to achieve where I want to go. The sort of training won't suit you at your current weight. So maybe about six months down snap, I might be able to help you. What a fucking cock, in it? Even though my friend is fairly close, it was embarrassing, she said. Um, I was gutted. I collapsed basically. My mum was with me, and she put my arms around me and collapsed into my arms, crying. <sighs> there is a headline here about fat shaming from uh, James Corden. That's annoying, right? James Corden he annoys the fuck out of me, and he's a you know he's got very womanly tendencies in that regard. And I think you know some of his complaints about Bill Maher's fat shaming thing, you know, are a bit annoying. But this is not fat shaming. This is just being cruel. Fat shaming, like taking a piss out of someone because they're a bit fat or like, you know, shaming somebody into maybe losing some weight or, you know, how Bill Maher said, you know, we shame people into like maybe putting the drinks down and not doing too many drugs. We should be able to shame people into like not being fat. But this is not shaming. This is just being cruel. There's no need to say this to somebody. Like she's obviously trying to lose weight. Like the one thing you'll never see somebody doing in a gym is snickering at a fat person ever. I've never seen it in my entire life being in a gym. People are always respectful because they can, they know how much, I know how much effort it takes for me to go to a gym. So I can only imagine how much effort it might take for somebody that's super overweight and very self-conscious, very self-aware about what they look like. Because that's the thing people don't think about. It's like, do you think a fat person doesn't know they're fat? Of course they know they're fat. They just, they just accept what they their, their circumstances, just the way some people accept the fact that, you know, they might have stinky breath or their hair is shit or whatever, or their hair, they got a like receding hairline. You just accept some bits about you, but it doesn't mean you're happy with it, right? So the fact that you're pointing it out and you're being such a cock about it, like, this, this trainer is just not acceptable. It's just really, really sad. It doesn't make any sense. Um, can someone be too big for boot camp? Uh, personal trainer um, Darren Carter, who has more than 96 followers on Instagram, saw the post and offered his help. I just wanted to do the well, shove it in his face after because I actually felt so for her. Miss Carter said that it's, imp it's, it's it's not possible to be too big for boot camp. Of course, it's not possible to be too big for the gym. Even someone was huge, it doesn't matter. 
um, if someone like that came to a boot camp, I would modify the exercise to ensure she feels comfortable. Because for someone like that to go to a personal trainer, even a boot camp where there are loads of people, it takes a lot of courage. That's what I said. If they come to a boot camp, they should not be rejected like that. Again, absolute cocky way of doing things. Again, I, I just think in general, he was probably looking for a viral moment. He was probably hoping that she would share it and post it out there into, in, into the world for all world to see. But again, um, Lisa Parrot, wherever you are, my dear, or Parrot, wherever, whoever you are, my dear, just keep going, man. Um, don't listen to that guy. He's obviously an anomaly in that regard. He's obviously a cock in his own regard. No one else thinks that you're doing the best you can. Um, trying to lose a weight that you can lose and again this journey is going to be a long one it's going to be a tough one it's going to be physically and mentally demanding the last thing you need is people that are meant to be helping you adding more stress to situations so again swerve that guy you don't need to pay more attention to him and i'm sure she's been offered loads of offers of help from trainers that are probably going to take under the wing probably do it for free in order to have her as part of their testimonials do the work and be an example to everyone else and obviously shove it back in his face because again that guy's a dog dick buff master well just cockmaster really isn't it